It's showtime. Hey everybody, it's the d Rock 100 and welcome back to more of Pokemon White! Last time! We went to Dragon Spiral Tower! We had our new friend Scorpius to Drudikin who showed us what he was really capable of. And... We... Heard a disturbance. I'm on top of the Dragon Spiral Tower that Regiram had reawoken. And now we seek to find the Darkstone. Repels effect we're off. <laughs> Hello, guys. I wonder, tell me what's going on, Derek. You got I'm caught up in something serious, it seems. Is this it? Whoa! Isn't that the stone found in the desert resort? Yes, that's right. But is this really a dragon type Pokemon? Surely, when I investigated Dragon's Bio Tower. Elements that were dead into the same area as this dark stone. I looked into that. Impressive as always. But you know, we're lucky. Because what a team plasma like noticed that was an old stone that time. And that's a good point. It's clear to me that they were trying to steal the dragon skull so they could revive the legendary dragon type Pokemon. If you were Derek, take this. Wait a moment, Derek. If you take this dark stone, that means that you'll be the one to battle and if anything happens to me. Are you really okay with that? Yes. I understand. You were determined to take on this duty. Then here it is. Prepare yourself. Be strong. I see. If anything don't go as planned, you'll use this dark stone. You'll protect the ideal future for us and Pokemon. Derek, we're counting on you. Please take care of yourself. We obtained the Dark Stone. That didn't last long! <laughs> so, how do we wake the Dragon type Pokemon from the stone then? That's it! We've got them, don't we? Aha! We've got those too! Derek, go to Opelucid City. The gym leader of that city uses Dragon type Pokemon. The gym leader could know something. I'll go ahead and wait for you there. It's all that. That's right. Opus of cities and Iris might know something. Hey, Derek. Never forget that you always have Pokemon right by your side. I'm going to head back to the lab to do some research. I'll see if I can uncover what kinds of beings these legendary dragon type Pokemon are and if they're in any way to awake them. Don't worry. If we have something for you, we'll come running to find you. Ooh, sounds real serious. Um, that's all I got out of it. Derek, do you know Opelousa City? We leave from Icer City and then, like, cross the Tubaline Bridge? It's on the other side. Um, I'm not that great with directions, so if you need more, check your time map, okay? Iris, I... Iris. Bianca, I feel like you're constantly getting in the shaft and all this. Come on! Give that girl some credit! Whee! Well, now we're back here. So we're gonna wanna go this way. We kind of been out this way before in Route 8. But, really? Nothing special. Well, that much, that is. 
But, now we can finally move on. I should probably point this out. There are no new legendary po- Legendary Pokemon. There's no Pokemon hint that we can find out here that's new, so... Nah, 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 nah. I guess there is a downside for having this place to be in winter, but... That's definitely one! What the heck was that? Dare fart in my face, eh, you little prick? I'll teach you a thing or three one day. I feel like this thing is just a hassle. I wonder why a lot of people hate it. Got a full heal right here. Oh, you jerk. You have no choice. I can't get to it. Wait. Chokes on these guys. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll oh, admit that was actually kind of funny. Let's go this way. And of course, we got a trainer battle right here, but I would like to go in into that little cave entrance right there. It, bends in, it blends in among the trees and grass, and it shows its strength. See the strength of my Pokemon. Joke's on you! It's gonna be more exposed because we're in the snow! And also, aren't you freezing? At least you get yourself a coat or something. But, you do have a Pokemon of interest for us. A Cincino. Now the question is, do you have Technician or do you have Multi-Strike? Multi-Strike, um... Multi-Hit? No. Uh, yeah, I hope you have Technician for the ability. Hey, Fred Wolfa! You thinking of waking up anytime soon, you crazy woman? Also, how could you be asleep if you're carrying that steel pillar? Oh, yeah. Well, you wanted to see my strength. I just had to wake up for that. A Becca Berry. Okay. Heals poison. Can't say no hint to that. You. Ultra Ball. We are now in a location known as the Moor of Isaris. Maybe... Maybe I should have changed it this place to... Yeah, maybe I should have changed it to the season for this. But it is a big mushroom! Okay, alright. This is tight. This is tight! Okay. Oh, God. Dang it. There we go. There's honestly not a lot that's out here. I guess that this is just add-ons from certain locations if you have access to this. But probably not the ideal location for us to do it while in the winter time. Let's see here. Um, I can't do anything with that. Then I guess I'll have to surf across. It works. I love this music. Take a listen for a little bit. Come on, 
has a little relaxing music, if you ask me. You know what? I think I can get that item. Max Potion. just about finished up from here. So, let's just go up here. Do that, do that, do that. I'm gonna talk to you real quick. That's right. I find rocks and then I give them to people. That's my simple life. You rock. Here, I'll give you the icy rock I found tonight. The icy rock! If you like rocks, come back tomorrow. Roll around at a different time if possible. And I'll, I'll be here? I promise. Ha! <laughs> I get it, like promise. Derek! As I've been traveling lately, I've been thinking about things. Things like what I want to do with my life, and what I want to do, but... Thinking how cool it would be like to be a model like Elisa. And then, how cool it would be like to do research on Pokemon like Professor Juniper. If that's what I want to do, I'm going to have to know a lot about Pokemon. So, would you please battle me? You know you can do both at the same time, be a model like Elisa and research the things in a like Professor Juniper? I mean, look at Cynthia. She kind of does something like that. Only except she's... I think she's got a scholarship or something like that. Anyway, getting off topic. Bianca's first Pokemon! Stoutland, level 38, pure normal type, intimidate for the ability. Woke up, crunch, roar, and retaliate. Okay. I know you're lowering my tax stat. I got something that I'm gonna make things better. Oh, so you chose that move. Yes. And also, retaliate only does better if your Pokemon fainted. The previous turn. Yeah, we'll let her figure that part out. She'll figure it out in about two years. There you go, being a jerk again. Krusty, you had a good break from the last episode. Get out of here. Musharna is up next. Level 38, pure psychic type. Full warrant for the ability. Defense Curl, Lucky Chance, Psybeam, Hypnosis. Interesting choice. Alright. X Scissor. And Shock of the Boy. Uh oh. Alright. Should have known better. But then again, I should expect the unexpected, so in the end, doesn't matter. Let me guess. Not gonna heal again? I really need to know how to keep my yap shut sometimes. I'm surprised that out of those three turns, I have not gotten a critical hit on this. But someone tells me this one will. That says a lot for us to come for the community this evening. Alright. She's sending out her starter next. So why not? Samurai! Level 40! Pure water type! Torn for the ability! Revenge! Aqua Jet! Slash Encore! Superior! Level 40! Pure grass type with overgrowth for the ability! Mega Drain! Slam! Slam! Leaf Blade and Coil! Emboar, level 40, firefighting type with blaze for the ability. Roll out, take down, heat crash, and assurance. I know it's probably not assurance. But. Whatever. I'm actually legitimately surprised that I didn't knock you out. 
Oh well. Not gonna be able to use your special ability on me now because you didn't use Aqua Jet. <laughs> Now for our elemental monkey. Simi Seer, Simi Poor, or Simi Sage. All done level 38. Fire, water, grass type. All with gluttony for the ability. With Leer, Lake, Fury, Slits, and Flame Burst, Scald, or Seed Bomb. It's like I know how these things work sometimes. Hmm. It's a good thing I can come prepared for this sort of thing. Beating winner should evolve Mystic. Can you do it out to this gym battle or something? Nah, yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out at the time. Yep, Derek, you're amazing. I'm really, really, really impressed. And that makes me want to give you this to you. At first, when I first played this, I thought she was going to give me a hug. Like, they animated a hug for this? That'd be great. Castilla City, my precious Pokemon was stolen by Team Plasma. So I really, really understand. If Team Plasma forces everyone to liberate their Pokemon, there will be nothing but sad people. Derek, stop Team Plasma! Don't allow Pokemon to be stolen from trainers who love them. I think that's the truth, or ideal, that you've been pursuing, Derek. Derek, here I've come all this way, and I'm afraid I'm bothering you when you're going through so much. No, you're not! I you could use a helping hand. I wanted it was to help you relax, Derek. Knowing you, you'll be fine. Definitely. You'll totally be fine. I guarantee it. Anyway, you know what I mean. Yeah, so, bye-bye. You know, Bianca, you being there to help me throughout this journey says a lot to her for what is to come. And I guess that's sort of why I really like hey, Bianca so much. In the games and, and even in the anime. I mean, sure, she's just... <laughs> in the anime, but... Anyway, I would like me to kind of heal up my team a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do now put Krusty out in the front. Because there is something pretty interesting about this on a particular bridge that's coming up. Leah's to this! The tubey line. Rage. It's just my pain, but it's best if you avoid this area on weekends and evenings. The brats who live around here often get into something stupid. Is it bad to say that I'm not really seeing anyone? Huh? Oh, hey! It's you! You prick. Come. Gets us. We brought the one you wanted. Excellent. It seems you have obtained the Dark Stone. I congratulate you on a job well done. It is my lord and thoughts and that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs on the line and strive to find which is the true hero. This is not necessary, however. From his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed! He was an invention so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose it is his. The liberation of Pokemon of which I, of Team, Pla of Team Plasma speaks, is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. The preparations are complete. With my perfect plan is set in motion. First, a few colorful Pokemon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then the number will become a hundred, then a thousand. In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will become unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon with all will be considered a bad thing. 
Even people in like the sad little Bianca, whose Pokemon stolen in Castelia, will be unable to face public opinion and will release their Pokemon. That's the kind of world we'll make. You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as the hero. So, if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage. Because you're gonna need it. Lunatic. Check something. Huh? The pitcher throws his first pitch. And he's in the brother through free TM of Fling! Registered through it was TM56 Fling. You throw an item to do damage to the target, and the damage chart changes depending on what you throw. Why, thank you. You just screwed yourself out of an item. But I think. There's something special. It is the weekend on this, right? I'm running around trying to outrun the trains. I got overheated. Whew. And they please take this. Okay, you know what? It's a good thing I came back and he kind of doubled back on this. This thing contains flame charge. If the move lands, the user speed goes up and you'll blow by everyone. Indeed we do. You can never tell for when something like that could come in handy. Huh. It is Saturday. Oh, maybe hey, this particular 3DS isn't properly updated with that sort of thing or something, but... Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. We'll deal with that when we hey, get to it later. Route 9! Route 9 is probably one of my personal favorite routes in the entirety of Gen 5. Why? Because of Shopping Mall 9. <laughs> but no. Well, actually, yeah, that is mainly the true reason for that, but here at Route 9, we have six new Pokemon that we can find. Most of them are version exclusives, and you can they're all pretty much the entire evolution line. So, let's get to it. Starting things off, only found in black is a Gothorita and his evolution of Gothitelle. These Pokemon can be only found in black, and Gothitelle can be found in rustling grass. And honestly, them being decent tanky psychic types says a lot to for how these things work. Gothitelle will be locked in at level 4 through the rustling grass, and it's just a handful of levels away from learning psychic. Too bad that psychic is not going to be as strong as you would think. <laughs> no, excuse me. It's mainly meant to be a special wall. And while it is decent of taking some hits as it is, it's hard to use. I only ever really recommend hitting this Pokemon in multiplayer simply because of that frisk ability. And before you guys say anything why competitive said not around, it didn't gain that ability until Gen 6. So... Don't accept back then to be competitive anytime soon in this generation. All in all, it's not bad. It just it kinda came at a pretty bad timing for that. Next up in Pokemon White, Duosion and his evolution of Reuniclus. Like with Gothitelle, it can be found in Rustling Grass, and it's also locked at a level 34. And it's okay for how it is on this one. If you really want to go for one, you didn't think that Solosis was okay from before, you might want to consider this one. I personally suggest that Magic Guard going to be the one to go for. And I was saving it until now, but I consider the Solosis line to be similar to that of the Abra line. Except it's a little bit more tanky, and it's... Knows some pretty decent moves along the way, and it doesn't require a trade evolution. Like with Gothitelle, Psychic is just a few levels away, 
And get rid of that Psy Shocker while you're at it. Hilariously, Uniclus and being the multiplying Pokemon and being looks like that of a cell? I think it has some inspirations of sorts. It's creepy enough when one thinks about it, but honestly, for someone who used a Reuniclus in a past Let's Play, I can actually testify that this is pretty good. Next up, Garboder! Why is it not pronounced Garbodor? I've been calling it Garbodor for a long time, but thanks, anime. But in all seriousness, everything that I said about its evolution of Tribish applies here. It's meant to be a decent uh, physical offensive wall, but the issue that I have with it is that it only ever learns one physical offensive poison time with the leveling up, and that's Gunk Shot. It would not have been until Generation 8 until we finally gave it another physical offensive poison time move of Cross Poison. But that's through TM only. I think you guys might be seeing where I'm kind of going with this. Why did it have to be this way? I wanted Garbodor and it to be pretty good as it is, but I guess Garbodor is only good as it smells. Speaking of smell, that stench ability is probably one of the best abilities in that you'll be finding throughout the game. A chance to potentially flinch your opponent? That's not bad. <laughs> Why must I do this to a good Pokemon that we won't be seeing in fully evolved form until like the end game? Ponyard. I really like this Pokemon, but why does it take until level 52 to have to fully evolve? Well, okay, let's, let's, let's talk positive so quick. It's a really nice uh, combination of Dark and Steel, have a lot of resistances, two immunities, and you know some pretty good moves for leveling up and is a great sweeper. Too bad you won't be seeing its true potential until later on down the road, like, say, after the main game. Like I said, it evolves a level 52, unless you want to use that lucky egg and know how to use it properly, you're not going to get some good mileages out of it, though. I guess if there is a positive out of all this, it does know some pretty good moves that help out with that Defying Hint ability. The fact that it, that it can gains attack stats rather than having the stats be lowered? I can't really say no to that. And I like it. So all around, I guess if you really want to have a pretty Decent hint in Pokemon this early, uh, I guess it's late in the game. Ponyard's a good choice, but it will take a while for a hint to fully evolve, and you're pretty much going to be losing your brain cells in the process. Picking up a can of lemonade right here, because I ain't going to drink it. Let's just move in. Shopping Mall 9. It's called 9 because it's on Route 9. You can remember it by thinking of this. Done shopping? 9. I believe on this side. You're basically a Pokemart. You don't have anything new. But there is something that I wanted to show up on this side, I believe it is? Technical machines, yes. Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. I won't be getting these for a while though, but you might want to consider this. And you sell nearly every kind of ball there is. I I except for dive balls, they're kind of sucky. But you might want to consider him picking some of them up over here. In fact, That. I'm gonna quick boss. Eh, I'll go broke. I'm actually doing pretty good with some items, so I should be okay for a while. And you sell drugs, so go piss yourself off. 
Also, while I was doing some battling, Malos actually ended up learning Giga Drain. I decided to get rid of Leaf Tornado, mainly due to the fact that... Okay, give us a three free Thunderstone, which I could just sell for... for something good. But I do want to challenge the trainer real quick. But yeah, Malos learned Giga Drain! I got rid of Leaf Tornado because I can't really see myself running myself any good use of it for the time being, but oh well. I guess it's nothing too ordinary as such. Alright. In fact, I might consider giving this um, one of the items that we have to actually benefits for it kind of nicely. Look at that! Lampet! Okay, you know what? You're a junior trainer of interest for us! For Scorpius this time around. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Who keeps texting me? Done with that. <laughs> I like how the lamp it looks like it was just tipping over and like that, and it almost looked like it was about to become like a like a lamp I'm post tipping. Ah, whatever. I, I can't think of anything crazy right now. <laughs> All right. So about that old item. I think you were only wanting the Miracle Seed, but I think this time around, I'm gonna give you the Big Root. Give me like an upgrade to it, and, and WHAT?! Okay. I know I'm getting distracted a lot by, my text, by the text messages I'm getting, but I have other things to do. Um, I would like to go this way, actually. There is something of interest for us that we'll be seeing down here later on down the road, but we can't do anything about it right now. We'll show you off what that is, but there is something that is down here that I would like to pick up. This place would do wonders for my pick, pick up Lola Pups. Shoot right over... Okay, well, there's that, so I can always sell that for fodder. A Max Ether! That's it? Oh, okay, here we go. A Forest Store! Okay, I'll take it! Only strong Pokemon live in this cave. Champion occasion goes in for training, but you aren't ready for this challenge. Huh. Sounds familiar. We haven't seen something like that from a past in a generation. Hmm? Uh, actually, do you say something? Okay. Hello, Derek. This way. What a liar. Just for trying to con everyone with his speech. That's correct. Our Lord has combined his powers with the legendary dragon type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of the hero Unova, founder of this region. Pokemon are different from people, they are living beings who contain unknown potential. They're living bees of from whom we humans have much to learn. They are bees who greatness and we should acknowledge. Bees who should be freed from our oppression. We Team Plasma invite you to join us. We all want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please release your Pokemon. So I end my plea to you today. Thank you one and all for your attention. Is it 
True? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm. Maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way! But the Pokemon will be lonely and sad! What was that about? His pictures are off the chart strange! The cooperation of people and the Pokemon in the How Universe community exists to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Let's go, Derek. It's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, Mr. Alder! And the guy who hunted at that time! What's wrong? What is that wandering champion who left the Pokemon they need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Are you talking about Regiram? Or Zekrom? What's the sudden interest? Moments ago, a troublemaker known as Getsus was here. Wait, was I talking to Zyrus in that one? Yeah, whatever. He said a trainer named N has reawakened Regiram. Yes. The trainer called N apparently told Derek here to search her for the other Dragon-type Pokemon. Let me check that I have hit this joint. This N, or what I have you, presume to set the two Dragon-type Pokemon against each other in battle, to test his convictions. Oh no! The Dragon-type Pokemon get along so well! That's right, Iris. The one who makes it a Pokemon in battle are the trainers. And it's so the trainers and their Pokemon can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess this case, I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course, I'll defeat Ed. I'll teach her about the beauty of this world, where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. Also, Derek, I'll await your arrival. Once you've obtained the Opelucid badge, come to the gym, to the League. Take Opelucid Gym Leader and his tough. Take care. Farewell. I'm counting on you, Drain it in, Iris. Oh, he's gone! Is he okay? He looks kind of scary. Don't worry, Iris. He is the strongest trainer in all of Unova. Well, Derek, is it? Come to my home. As Alder asks, I'll tell you everything I can about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Iris, child, please show the way. You bet! If it's Opus City, I can take you there anywhere. As to the story of Regiram and Zekrom, we'll tell you all we know about it. This way! That way! You could have just taken me with you and go there. Yeah, whatever. I also like how that lady on the left side right there it looks like she's just like meant to be sad or something like that. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking about it too much or something. Um I don't wanna buy anything. I'm gonna be more or less selling at this point. And I know exactly what I was gonna get rid of first. You know what? Maybe you should maybe sell those items out to that other person from back there, but... You know what? I'll do this. I guess I could sell you these. Because, well, I will not need them. Because I actually have a good feeling about this. I know what I'm doing is probably a bad idea, but then again, I've done dumber things before. You... You have the best balls over here that money can buy. Don't take that out of contents. Okay, that's fine. Making sure... of an 
ancient people are, are put into this melody. I'll bring them back to us now. Has a bit of a nice little add on tune to this. Um, can we do anything from up here? We actually can. Okay. This kind of changes a little bit. I wonder which I'm not in any of the tall dark grass because there is something special about that that I want to talk about but later. But don't worry. That time will come soon enough. Just want to kind of double check and recheck on something up here. Full heal. This is when things are gonna get interesting. Just wanna check that part from right up there. Because we can technically do stuff from up there if we want to. Maybe we'll do a little bit of some searching around at a few things before we do anything else. Before we take on the gym. Just a little farther! Crazy kid. This is it! On explaining. What are you holding is the Dark Stone? Zekra, who will likely awaken from the Dark Stone, and Regiram, who is already awake, but wants to save Pokemon. That single dragon Pokemon, along with twin heroes brought a new region into being, and people in Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon-type Pokemon that had been with them all that time had split into bodies of two. One side of whom with the older brother, and the younger with the younger brother. In its pursuit of truth, the white dragon type Pokemon sought to usher a new world and better world. Its name was Regiram. In the other, the black dragon type Pokemon sought ideas to usher a new world, a world of hope. Its name was Zekrom. Because the two of them were once the same entity, their battle raged endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no one inside him that was right, and seized the conflict. But, but, the two heroes' sons started to hit the battle again, and an instant later, Reshiram and Zekrom destroyed Unify with fire and lightning. Then, they disappeared. But, but, if people work with Pokemon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Roger and Zekron worked hard for everyone and made a new region. So, it should be alright, I think. True. Pokemon cannot speak, except for maybe three, but not important. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, Pokemon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. So I'm never going to forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry, we got a little off topic at the end. This is everything we know. Fortunately, we don't know how to await the legendary Pokemon. I made a promise to order. You must win the gym badge from the Opelousive Pokemon Gym. Iris, you go and be Derek's opponent at the Pokemon's Gym. Yay! Look out, I'm really, really strong with him, just like Drayden! Maybe so. 
But we're not going to tackle the gym, at least not yet. Because... Now that we've finally gotten all of that taken care of, and some lore that was finally given to us, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to end things off right around here, right? So, next time on Pokemon White, we're going to mix things up a little bit. We're going to explore around Opelousa City, and then we're going to explore a little bit of Route 10 just north of us. We're not going to go all the way, but... Enough for us to see what we have in store. And the real question I have to ask is, where on earth could the last member of my team be? See you guys then!